This tutorial is going to explain to you five different mathematical properties. The first property that I'm going to talk to you about is the commutative property. The commutative property works for both addition and multiplication, and basically what it says is 6 plus 1 equals the same thing as 1 plus 6. Or, if we're talking about it in multiplication, 7 times 3 would equal the same thing as 3 times 7. For the associative property, it deals with the grouping of numbers. What it's saying is for addition, if you have 2 plus the sum of 3 plus 8, it would equal the same thing as if you had the sum of 2 and 3 plus 8. It doesn't matter how you group the numbers, as long as you add them all together, you'll still get the same thing. The same is true for multiplication. You could have 3 times the product of 4 and 5, or you could have the product of 3 and 4 times 5, and it wouldn't make a difference. The next property is the distributive property. Let's say you start off with 4 times the sum of 6 plus 2. What the distributive property says is that you could distribute the 4 to the 6 and the 4 to the 2, and you could solve this by saying 4 times 6 plus 4 times 2. And you would end up with the same thing as if you would have done 6 plus 2 times 4. This is going to be especially, especially useful later when we're multiplying single digits and double digit numbers by larger numbers. The next property I'm going to show you is the identity property. And for adding, basically it means if you take any number and add 0, you're going to get that number. For multiplication, it says if you take any number and multiply it by 1, you're going to end up with the same number. The last property is the transitive property, and this is what it says. It says if you have 2 plus 4 and get 6, and 6 equals 3 times 2, then 2 plus 4 equals 3 times 2. These properties are going to be very helpful for you this year.